Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So today I have a, another new wig for you. This wig has been sent to me by Mima Wigs. I will leave you the link to her website. And this is Ellen Villa from her new collection, The Changes. And this style is called Touch. And mine is in Sandy Blonde Rooted. Before I go into the wig, I wanted to show you something that has been also sent to me and which is an amazing product. So you know um, how I keep my wigs on, I wear a cap and then I wear, let me show you, you see this wig grip, velvety headband, the stretches has a velcro closure and keeps your wig on. Well, this company, which is called the Renatural, sent me this wig fix. And this is amazing. It is stretchy. It's almost like a see-through thin rubber. And as you can see, it has these little nodules on it, little knobbly bits. And that is what keeps your wig on your hair stop sleeping from your head and also keeps your wig on. I have tried it and I do really like it. With the wig grip, I love that as well. It's very comfortable, but sometimes if you have dark roots you and where the parting is, you can see the color of that wig grip. You know, it's a bit not yellow, you see what color it is. It's sort of skin color, but you can sometimes see it, especially if your wig has a dark root. Whereas this is completely see-through, so you can't see it. It is very comfortable, keeps the wig on. So what they say about it, they say it provides roller coaster proof security, so your wig will always stay on. Uh, the patent pending design protects and stimulates the scalp inducing natural hair growth. Maybe because of the no nodules, I'm not sure. It's very easy to apply and, and remove. You just stretch it and pop it on your head like a headband. It's reusable. It says that it will last you for up to two years with continuous wear. So um, I will leave you the link to this in the description box. It is again from a company called Renatural and is called The Wig Fix. I'm sorry if throughout this video the light goes dark and light because it's sunny outside and the sun goes in and out, but that way maybe it's quite good so you can see the color how it changes if you were in a very bright sun sun or if you were inside so let's talk about the touch so the cap is wefted cap it's got adjustable straps velvety bendable ear tabs lace front and partial monofilament which means if you want the appearance of the natural scalp you can only part it on that side let me show you now the lace front it's beautiful so ellen villa's wigs are beautiful the texture is so fine the hair feels so silky and i would say most of them have very natural density they don't have too much hair that it looks wiggy um, it's very very fine and just feels like real hair so this is like a mid-length you know it's past my shoulders a layered style with very gentle waves very pretty i'm not sure this length and style suits me but this is not about the wig suiting me this is about me showing you the style let me show you hair from all the sides
and let's talk about the color so this is much warmer to what I normally wear um, I would say that this is very very light gold blonde I almost feel like it has darker blondes golden blondes or even like very pale caramel I would call it so it is not as cool as I like them but I think this still looks okay on me I love the root uh, it's very very subtle you don't get almost like a you know cut off point where the dark root finishes and the blonde starts is very very gradual transition from the root darker root to the blonde colors it is a bit flat at the front but you can fix that you can just rub your hands make them warm because this is not a heat defined fiber so you cannot style it with heat you know like uh, the Raquel Welch editor's peak that I have is true to life fiber and you can style it with a bit of heat so you rub your hands and you can just hold it there for a bit and do that a few times and that should stay So you see, you can, just with the heat of your hands, you can restyle it a bit. I don't feel this wig has any, no, it doesn't have any permatis, but I don't feel it's too flat here at all. You know, sometimes if the wig doesn't have a permatis, can look very flat and stuck to your head, but this one's got a really nice shape and if you rough it up you should do that with every wig really when you first get it you know remember when the wigs come to you they've been in a box a bit squashed and they are straight from the factory so everything is sort of squashed in and stuck together so always put your fingers through the roots and disturb that hair I think this is really really pretty style like a you know I just woke up like this <laughs> the fibers are so so fine feel so silky and natural and with it being this length you can style it in so many ways you know you can put it into a ponytail you can pin it up I love pinning up uh, longer wigs you know just put a clip Where's my clip? You just put a clip in and obviously I can't see what I've done there. I would be a bit more strategic if I was doing it and going out. I think this wig is pretty and I actually quite like the color. You know, my, my natural highlights, well, natural highlights, <laughs> you know I have my hair highlighted and my hair is probably a bit cooler than this but not as cool as the shaded biscuit in Raquel Welch it's sort of in between but I think I can easily pull off this color uh, it is definitely warmer let me actually I've got a shaded biscuit here so let me let the hair down so you can see it more so as you can see it is definitely warmer more golden than the shaded biscuit but it's not too too warm you know it doesn't have any like rusty orangey colors in it so i think i can still pull this color off well the more i have it on the more i like it i think this was the problem that it was just hanging like this but like i said if you do this a few times, you can mold it a bit to the shape you want. Yes, yeah, so the more I am wearing this wig, the more I like it. It is a very, very pretty and the most wonderful thing is that it's so, so 
natural feeling it's so light it's so light you can't really feel that you've got it on your head um, it is slightly shiny you know more synthetic wigs uh, depending on color as well uh, can be a bit shiny some are more shiny than others this one is not overly shiny but usually that is solved by just washing the wig uh, you know obviously in factory they are coated with something so um, so they look nice when you first pull them out so sometimes just washing the wig will solve that if not you can always spray a bit of dry shampoo on it and that will tame the, sh the shine Yes, I really like it actually. I wasn't sure at first when I put it on, but I think it could have been, you know, this flat front. But like I said, it's so easily reshaped just with the heat of your hands. Okay, my lovelies, let me know what you think of this one. Um, and not if it suits me or not, because remember, these reviews are for you. This is not about if the wig suits me, it's just to show you the style, the color, the cap construction, just to help you make decision with choosing your own wig. Okay, my lovelies, thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.